Autopsies on the boss of 26 Nigerian teenage girls recovered from the Mediterranean this month have confirmed that they drowned. The boss of the girls, aged between 14 and 18, were brought to the southern Italian port of Salerno by the Spanish ship Chantabria on 5 November. An investigation was opened due to fears they may have been abused and dead. But Professor Antonello Crissi, a medic who worked on the postmortems, said the girls deep from drowning after the dinghies they were traveling in sank. There were no signs that they had been raped or physically abused, he said. They most likely couldn't swim. The boss were recovered by Chantabria, which works as part of the EU's Sofia anti-trafficking operation, from two shipwrecks 23 from one and three from the other. One of the women also suffered a hemorrhagic shock due to a liver wound, and two were pregnant, the doctor added. At least 100 other migrants who are also attempting the treacherous crossing from Libya to Europe are missing and almost certain to have drowned, prosecutors said on Wednesday. A further 375 people were brought safety across two search and rescue missions. Two men, who were among the survivors and are believed to have skippered one of the boats, were arrested in Salerno the day after the boss were brought to the port on charges of people trafficking. Marco Rotuno, an Italy spokesman for the UN Refugee Agency, told The Guardian last week that 90% of migrant and refugee women arrive in the country with bruises or other signs of violence. People continue to attempt the crossing despite a pact between Italy and Libya to stem the flow, which led to a near 70% drop in arrivals since the summer, according to figures released this month by Italy's Interior Ministry. Italy defended the agreement on Wednesday after it was lambasted by the UN Human Rights Chief, Zayd Rad al-Hussein, as being inhuman. Rights groups have denounced the policy, saying it exposes returned migrants to Libya's lawless detention centers with no legal recourse. There have long been reports of the horrific abuses suffered by migrants in Warstrick and Libya at the hands of traffickers and others, with the International Organization for Migration saying in April that thousands of Africans are being sold in slave markets. The suffering of migrants detained in Libya is an outrage to the conscience of humanity, Hussein said in a statement issued on Tuesday. The European Union's policy of assisting the Libyan Coast Guard to intercept and return migrants in the Mediterranean is inhuman. Italy's interior minister, Marco Minetti, defended the deal, saying the alternative cannot be to resign ourselves to the impossibility of managing migratory flows and hand human traffickers the keys to European democracies. We invite all those who are giving lessons to instead give more funds, more logistical support and more intervention in Libya to solve this issue.